All right. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create conversations and quests. <clears throat> um, this uh, to actually uh, make a conversation for Vampire: The Masquerade Redemption, you uh, you need to use a script, and the same goes for a quest as well. Um, <clears throat> Java is a requirement for creating this stuff, but I have created some scripts that can make this process simpler. <clears throat> and to find those scripts, <clears throat> and to find those scripts, you can go to my website at e. You can go to my website at e-mods.net <clears throat> and go under Open Nod Development, and you'll be able to download. <clears throat> you'll be able to download the Nod SDK tutorials, and in those, in that uh, download. Not only comes the uh, um, Eclipse workspace, but uh, you'll also get the exported dot class files that you'll be able to um, extract and transfer into the Vampire the Masquerade uh, Redemption uh, Codex folder. So what you do is you take these files here, these these uh, these four files. Which will, be, which will be included in the newest Nod SDK tutorial. You copy those. <clears throat> you go into your your Vampire the Masquerade Redemption folder into its Codex folder. If there is no Codex folder, create one. Um, there should be a Codex folder if you're following along with all these tutorials. And then you just paste it in there. <clears throat> I currently already had the scripts in there. And then you can use the you can use these scripts. Mostly these two here is what I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And these are custom codex linker scripts that will allow you to load up a conversation. So the first step that you'll want to take after you have installed those class files is uh, I'm going to go into Embrace right now, and I currently have my map loaded, and when you create it, when you do, um, when you create a template in your map, you can press N, and uh, what you do is you select from a series of any NPCs, either bosses, enemies, NPCs. Any any of these will do, um, as long as it's an actor. Um, I wouldn't use players per se, not yet not for these particular scripts unless you're just playing in single player and multiplayer it probably it wouldn't work out as well per se um, so what what I have in this map already <coughs> is I uh, added Alessandro um, here so I'm gonna select him with shift and uh, left click and I currently have the quest giver actor talk script that I that I put into the codex folder assigned to him. And if you press Shift C, <clears throat> this script is designed to allow you to load an NCO file for your conversation. So that's where it starts. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to talk about NCO files and the other files that you will need for your project here. So let's go into the NCO file. The NCO files are located inside the conversations folder. So when you're um, going into your project here, and I'm currently in the My Maps project for my project here. So you go into conversations, and that's where you'll find those files. And I just set this up for convenience here. <clears throat> and I have two different files. This uh, this particular script I added is for the uh, for a quest giver. And when you go in here, this NCO file, each NCO file has to start with a conversation name, and uh, this conversation is a uh, two-parameter <coughs> key. It's a two-parameter key command. 
it takes the name of the conversation and a flag. Typically, you just set this to zero because it's not currently used. You have an event. You name the event. Um, anything you want as long as there's no spaces. And make sure the name of the conversation doesn't have any spaces. And then you have a line. And the line calls an NVO file key. Essentially, that's a, that's a key value that you create, your own custom key value. And this uh, third parameter for line is a, um, it's a cast ID for who's going to be speaking. So that's a, there's, there's a lot of things you need to consider when you're setting up a conversation here. But this is the file you want to start with, is the NCO file. This essentially allows you to program the conversation. This is just a basic script that I created, bare bone basics. Has three different sub-conversations in this file, and each of them are loaded in the codex linker. So we have the name of the file, which is Turret's Bigfoot Giver, and name of the file Turret's Bigfoot Giver. So I made this uh, Turret's Guy Who Who Cares About Bigfoot quest, and uh, just for funsies. And I, I will uh, run that quest later on just to show you the finished product and how it works. But right now I'm explaining <clears throat> what I did. So th this uh, the second uh, so you put in the file you c you get your conversation NCO file and put it in here and then you create you got to make sure you develop your NCO file which is simply just a text file with a .NCO at the end of it and the first thing you do is you set up the conversation name and this will be called <clears throat> here notice that give quest and give quest matches. So the first, so the first conversation is when Turret's guy gives the player the quest to go find Bigfoot, and he has this one-liner here, and the player will then have two responses they can give. They can accept the quest using this tag, or they can decline it. So two options will appear. Now, if they choose to accept the quest. Notice that this third parameter gives a number of one, and the second, and the, on the second line, the parameter is uh, is zero. Well, <clears throat> in my script, a one represents in the script here at the conversation end, and it, this will execute an end conversation in the Java API, and it'll send the return value. That's uh that's in this NCO file. So this return value here <clears throat> is what will appear in here in this return value. And I, I set up a condition here to say that if one if one was chosen on the selection list, then accept the quest and the, then the quest will be loaded. And what a quest loads is down is down here and this is actually a file name without the NQD it's an NQD quest file and that would be located under the quest folder of your project so when you open that up this is the quest it's essentially just a one line text file that's, this is all you put into it. You got the definition for a quest. These these two additional parameters should be zero. But then you have the description, the short description of the this quest, the long description of the quest, and this is a tag that will be defined in a string file. And that string file is located here. So that's defined here. So when you look at you have the short description and that'll that'll show Bigfoot for the quest in the quest log and then you have the long description for when the player highlights over that quest and they'll get the description and 
this image here, this TGA file, is a 32 by 32 image that shows when the quest is completed. And when the quest is completed, this is the amount of experience you get. So there's a lot here to keep track of. There's quite a bit here, so bear with me. Um, I will attempt to run through this, and I will show it running in the game and explain it as well as I can. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even add an additional option here for the player to ask for more information, and I will cover how you would do that. So let's, uh, let's get started here. 